Hello YouTube. I'll focus on walking so you can do the video. <laughs> so it's Monday um, in March and it's absolutely peeing it down. Today we're going to Ostia Antica. Yeah, what better day than to walk around outdoors the outdoor in Roman ruins. ruins. Um, <laughs> it should be quiet at least. <laughs> This is the queue You're on a Monday. I guess I'll start by saying that all of this is the very first settlement of Rome. This is where it all kicked off, where Rome started. Which, it's actually not that big, is it? No. If you think about it, but yeah, pretty exciting. Uh, so this thing here is Speaker's Corner, or was Speaker's Corner. Uh, it's so, yeah, they valued freedom of speech, and you could just get up there and start spouting out whatever you wanted to, there would be statues all around it. They valued freedom of speech so much that when Cicero, who pretty much, like, founded the Roman Empire spoke out about the government, he had his head and hands cut off and nailed onto the side. Granite columns there, which is interesting because the Romans didn't really work with granite. And so when we looked into it, these granite columns actually from the Aswan quarry in Egypt. So they are Egyptian columns and allegedly they say they were brought here by boat. Uh, so it's interesting that in the very first settlement of Rome they are using Egyptian columns as part of their building. Why would you bring granite just to place it in random places around the city and if you look behind me you've got one huge granite column all of the rest of the limestone why would you put just one column and then this is consistent throughout it oh i have one column there one there one there it just doesn't make any sense is the arch of Septimus Severus, I hope I've said that right, um, and on there they are celebrating the capture of the barbarians. say that was basically the first ever nunnery there was. Uh, Vesta. Yeah, anyway there were six virgins that would hang out and live down there and their job was to keep a fire alight 24-7 and like tend to the temple gardens. And they had to do that for 30 years and if they were lucky at the end of that they would get a bit of money but more often than not they were then accused of not being a virgin and executed. Palatine Hill was where all of the rich and wealthy and the senators and basically anyone with some money used to live. So we're going to go check that out. Apparently it has the most beautiful views of the city. I can 
imagine this is really pretty and nice to walk around on a sunny day. Mm. Yeah, rich people gardens, ancient Roman gardens. We use Rick Steves audio tour for the Roman Forum. Which is free. It was free. Just in the app store. Yep. Um, and actually pretty good. We learned quite a bit from it. Mm. Yeah. Yeah, and pretty good seeing ancient Rome. I mean, this is what you come to see, the first where Rome all started. Yeah. There's temples all over the place, but this is where it actually, actually this kicked is off. Rome. So.
today? Yeah. Uh, back to Switzerland. That's the end of Rome. Yeah. Uh, I really enjoyed Rome. I've learned so much. Yeah, it was an interesting place to end our uh, travels in Rome because it kind of amalgamates the Greek stuff and the yeah. Egyptian stuff together. <laughs> Had no idea. Uh, yeah. It's brilliant. Definitely want to come back. And the food was amazing. Oh yeah. Oh, so much better than... There's so much good food here. <laughs> Mansa. <laughs>